Hey folks, we're out feeding livestock and we're almost through. Phil um, went down to feed the chickens. And so while I wait for the sheep to finish feeding, that's another story. I'm gonna get to that. I wanted to tell you a story. Not long ago, our Shiloh got out of the barn. That's Shiloh over there by Hank. And uh, wait, that's Rosie. I'll show you Rosie over there. So Shiloh's gate was left open and he actually, his stall door was open and he got out of the barn and got in the middle of the road. Highway two, right out there. Now who, how he got out is not important. I didn't do it. I just really want that on record. But how he got out is not important. What I want to tell you is that Shiloh found himself in the middle of that highway with traffic in both directions and he was panicking. Now the traffic had stopped because the people around here, thank you local people, were already on their phones trying to get in touch with us. But Shiloh doesn't know any of this, of course, and he's pretty much panicking until he sees Phil's truck coming down. Phil was driving on the shoulder of the road to get to him. And when Shiloh saw Phil's truck, Shallow associated that big white truck and that man with the barn, the shelter, with food, with protection, provision, all of the above. And Shallow actually took off running, turned around and took off running towards the barn and beat Phil here. Shallow knew where to come. I want you to hold that thought because I want to talk to you just a minute about sheep. Okay, there are five sheep over here. Do you see the critters? Right now, we have their um, their little face mask off. Yep, they're under a mask mandate. Uh, not COVID, it's for the flies so they don't bite their legs. Here are the other three right here. Yeah, and they're feeding, so we have their mask off and I'm about to put their mask back on when they get through feeding. But I want to tell you something that I think is just hugely important about sheep. You know, when Jesus decided to liken us to an animal, he didn't choose a horse like Shiloh or a dog like Hank. Jesus chose to liken us to sheep. And what I want to tell you tonight about sheep is that they are not very smart animals and they are very dependent. Sheep need their master, their owner, their keeper to feed them, to take care of them, to show them where uh, to stay. Because uh, on their own, they literally can't make it. But what I think is fascinating about sheep is although they know this, they can know where the food is and where the water is and where the barn is and where the good stuff is, but did you know they will still wander? Sound familiar? They will still leave where they know they're getting nourished. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down because that's us believers. We can know where it is that we're being nourished and fed. We can go to God's word. We can go to him in prayer. We can live in his presence. We can abide in him. We can taste and know that he is good and still wander. That's us. One of the sweetest things about the gospel of Jesus Christ is that he knows us intimately he knows our tendency to wander. And did you know that he is willing to save us from us? I want to encourage you to make it your way of life, to ask him to hold you close to him, to keep you from wandering, to teach you more and more about himself, to help you cling to him to cause your heart to love him more tomorrow than it does today. Go to him with all these things and tell him that if you do not hold me near, if you do not keep me from wandering, if your precious Holy Spirit does not keep me, I'm going to wander away like these sheep. Admit it because he knows it and cling to him. That's all I got. Bye.